Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover division problems with zeros in the quotient, so zeros in the answer. I see a lot of people get stumped on these types of problems, so I wanted to make a video in order to clear up any confusion. So we're going to use the same exact steps as any other division problem. Don't let the zero hold you up. So we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 417 divided by two. So let's set up our problem, 417 divided by two. Now let's go through our process. So we start with four divided by two. So how many whole twos out of four? Well, two. Now we multiply, two times two is four. Subtract, we get zero and we bring down our one. Now this is the point in the problem that a lot of people get stuck. So we have one divided by two, and we can't do this division problem and get a whole number. So what we need to do, since we can't pull any whole twos out of one, we need to put a zero here in order to hold that place. We can't just keep it moving and not put anything there. So then, once we put the zero, we continue our steps. So zero times two is zero. Subtract, we get one. Bring down the seven. So now we have 17 divided by two. So how many whole twos out of 17? Well, eight. Eight times two is 16. Subtract, and we get remainder one. So our answer is 208 remainder one. That zero in the tens place is very important. If we didn't put it there and we just continued our division problem and brought down the seven without putting a zero, we would have gotten 28 remainder one, which is obviously a lot different than 208 remainder one. So the zero in the quotient was very important. Let's go to number two. This one's a little different as far as where the zero is. So we have 153 divided by five. So let's set it up. And we start with, we can't do one divided by five and get a whole number. We can't pull a whole five out of one. So we go to the 15. So how many whole fives can we pull out of 15? 15 divided by five. And we get three. Multiply, three times five is 15. Subtract, we get zero. Now bring down the three. So now we have three divided by five. How many whole fives can we pull out of three? Well, we can't do it. This does not mean we are done. A common mistake would be to do this, three remainder three as our answer. Bear with me as I rewrite the problem correctly over here to the right. So we had three here, 15, subtract zero, bring down the three. So we cannot pull a whole five out of that three. So we need to put a zero in the ones place here. We have to go all the way over, so we need that zero. Then go through our steps. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, and now we get a remainder of three. So big difference here between three remainder three and 30 remainder three. Make sure you work all the way over to the ones place. That zero in the quotient, again, was very important to our final answer. So there you have it. There are some division problems with zeros in the quotient. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.